Consumers and automakers are thinking about the environment more now than ever. That's a good thing. Our planet is our future, and we all have a role to play. When it comes to the environmental impact of the vehicles we depend on every day, it's important to make sure we ask the right questions. If we don't, serious unintended consequences could result. Today's target fuel economy standard is 50.8 miles per gallon by 2025. That's an ambitious goal. Vehicles generate emissions when we produce, drive, and dispose of them. The total emissions through these three stages represents a vehicle's life cycle carbon footprint. If we want to know how green a vehicle really is, we have to calculate emissions over its entire life cycle using a process called Life Cycle Assessment, or LCA for short. Current vehicle regulations consider only emissions from the driving stage and ignore emissions from production and disposal. Depending on the vehicle's materials, these emissions can be significant. Unfortunately, this outcome isn't hypothetical. It's happening today. And it's because of the focus on tailpipe emissions instead of the vehicle's life cycle. This graph compares the production emissions for a component made of various materials at equal performance. It's easy to see the advanced high-strength steel component has a marked advantage over the other choices since steel results in far lower emissions during production. And because steel is easily and continually recycled, it delivers greater value with lower environmental impact at the end of a vehicle's life, too. Fuel economy targets are helpful, but how we reach them is equally important. It's time to take an honest look at vehicle emissions, and the best way is by a life cycle assessment calculating emissions in every stage of a vehicle's life. Knowing a vehicle's total emissions is the only way to determine if we will reach emissions reductions. And it is clear, the greenest cars, trucks, and SUVs rely on advanced, high-strength steel and its light carbon footprint. 